so grateful to meet you once again here at Primeland website. My name is America Michael, taking you through Mathematics Primary 5. In this lesson, our theme is measurements, the topic is time, and the subtopic is still time. This is lesson 10, where we are going to learn about drawing a timetable. So in this lesson today, I'm going to teach you how we can draw a timetable. How can you make your own timetable? It's very simple. Let's go to our example and we see how we can draw one. So as I told you, we are going to make a timetable. So in this timetable, we depend on some few things when you're making the timetable. One, we look at the daily activities that we always do. Take a look at the activities that you always do in the day. Those are the activities you're going to put in the timetable. Avoid putting activities that you may not be able to do. So you have to only include activities that you are able to do. For example, uh, me personally, I want to show you how I'll, I would make my own timetable. Now, I'm going to assume on some things. I'm going to assume like I am a pupil. I'm going to assume I am someone who goes to school and I am in holidays. Now, I'm going to make a timetable which includes activities like revising math or practicing math. Two is revising social studies. Three is revising science. And the fourth one is revising English because those are the subjects I study in my school. Now, the next activity I will put there is fetching water. Then the other one is washing clothes, exercising. Another one is praying because at, at home I need to go for prayers. Then the other one is doing art. Then the other one is uh, watching television. Then maybe finally washing utensils. Now, those are some of the activities I'm, activities I'm going to include on my timetable. So after listing down your activities, now you differentiate between the activities you would like doing in the morning. There are some activities you do in the morning and there are some activities you do uh, in the afternoon or in the evening. So you can put them in your timetable. You know, these activities must be done in the morning and these other ones must be done in the afternoon or in the evening. It depends on how the activity is. Things like revising books, you can decide on the time you want. Now, after doing that, you go and draw the template. The template is what I've drawn here. If you see very well, most of the activities here, they have like two hours. So, all the days of the week, I would like to go for breakfast at 7.30. That is the time I start following my timetable. So, let me say all the days of the week, I'll be going for breakfast at 7.30. So, I'll simply write here, break... And here I can put dashes. So all the days of the week at seven, from 7.30 to 8, I'll be having breakfast. So those are 30 minutes for break. Now from 8 to 10, those are two hours. I want to put there some activity. Maybe I want to put an activity I can do in the morning. Maybe on Monday I want to be fetching water. So after breakfast, I go and fetch some water. Then next, so maybe after that, after fetching water, maybe the next thing I can do is Washing utensils, because they might be dirty. After breakfast, they are dirty now. I should go and wash them. So let me put here, washing utensils. Yes, as simple as that. So after those two activities, I assume lunchtime will have reached. So from, from noon to 1 p.m., I'll be having lunch. And I would prefer to have lunch all the days of the week at the same time. So let me just put here, lunch. And these two dashes fill that place. So all the days of the week, I'll be having lunch at from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Now, after that, I go for another activity. Which activity is good for that time after lunch? Maybe I can have some reading of books at this time. Let me put like, I want to go and which book, which, which, which book can I read after lunch? I can put English. So I can be revising English. After revising English for those two hours, now the next time I may use it for maybe relaxing. Let me go and do some uh, exercise. I can go and do exercise at that time. Uh, after exercise, automatically I'll have to come back home. I'll be tired. Then that means I'll be needing to go and relax a bit. After refreshing myself, then I go for supper. So I can go and have and also I prefer to have supper at the same time of the day 
for all the days of the week. So let me put here, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. I'm having supper, just like that. Then after supper, also sleep the same way, from 8 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. of the following day, I'm having sleep. So from 8 to 6.30 a.m. of the following day, I'll be sleeping. And that is Monday. Now, I finished Monday. Let me go for, uh, to Tuesday. Tuesday, already I said I'll be having breakfast at that time. So what is the next activity after here? So on that day, maybe let me put there, maybe washing clothes. So I just have breakfast and after break, I go to wash clothes. Then after that, I need to be revising mathematics. And after mathematics, I go for lunch. After lunch, maybe I can say, let me go and fetch water after that time. Then I have this time here. Let me say, at what time, what do I do at that time? Maybe, so I go for watching. And then I go for supper and finally sleeping. Tuesday is done, Wednesday. What can I do on Wednesday? Uh, on Wednesday, I can decide to go and uh, do what we call fetching water after breakfast. After fetching water, I can decide to say, I want to read a book at that time. Maybe I should be doing now here social studies. Then I go for lunch. After lunch, I have another time there. I want to do some, I want to do some art after lunch. So I put here art. After art, I go for exercise. You, need, you know, you need to exercise most times in the week. And then I go for supper and sleep. So I go to the next day, that is Thursday. Thursday, let me say, on Thursday, I want to go for washing utensils. After breakfast, I go for washing utensils. As you know, in a day, you need to fetch water. So I need to go and fetch water after washing utensils. I go for lunch, then after lunch, uh, I need to read a book. So let me go for science. So I go to revise science. Then after science, let me say, I should be completing the art I began on this day. So I can say, I can go for art. Then after art, the next thing is supper. And after supper, I go to sleep. So Thursday is gone. Now, Friday comes. I want to assume that I'm a Muslim. So Muslims go for, go for prayers on Friday. So I want to go for Juma prayers. After breakfast, I go for prayers. And I want that prayers to continue up to, up to lunch time. Then after lunch on Friday, I can come back and I say, mm, let me read a book, maybe. Let me go for English. I go and revise English. After English, I need to exercise a lot. So I go for exercise on Friday. Supper, then sleep. Saturday, on Saturday, it's a weekend, you know. So on Saturday, I can put here. I have breakfast, then I go and fetch water. After fetching water, maybe I go for washing, washing clothes. After washing clothes, I go for lunch. After lunch, so I don't want to read any book. So let me say I want to go and washing utensils. Washing utensils on Saturday. I want to go and have evening walking. After evening walking, I jazz around and come back home for supper. Then I go to sleep. Then the final day is Sunday. And now on Sunday, I wake up, I wash utensils. Because this, I'm, I'm repeating this many times because it is what we have to do in the day. You can't have dirty things in the kitchen. After washing utensils, I have to fetch water for that day, fetching water. So after fetching water, I go for lunch. After lunch, I want to read. Yes, reading a storybook. I can be reading a storybook here. Then after reading the storybook, I go maybe to visit friends and my day is over like that. So when I go for visiting friends, I come back from there. I refresh and have supper, then finally I go to sleep. So if I know that I have finished my whole personal timetable. So every day I will be following this timetable from Monday to Sunday. Just like that. So you can also make your own timetable. It depends. It doesn't mean you have to have very many activities in it, but you can have just few activities. It depends on the time you have in that day. Thank you so much. You have been learning with me in this lesson and we have been learning about drawing a time table.
in our next lesson, it will be lesson 11, and in that lesson we shall be learning about traveling. Don't dare miss it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.